students in this video we are going to see a convolution of continuous time signals so in case of any system in order to get output i should know impulse response and input signal so this mathematically can be represented like this so over here i'm having this system which is a linear time invariant system and it is having a impulse response h of t to this system we are applying a input signal x of t in order to observe what is the output signal which is y of t so mathematically this can be write like this y of t is x of t convolved with h of t or you can say h of t is convolved with x of t just like addition and multiplication so the formula to get a y of t we call that as the convolution integral and that convolution integral is given by y of t equals integration x of tau into h of t minus tau d tau this is the integral you have to solve with the limits so that become a definite integral and the limits will be decided by area which is common between these two signals i'll explain this shortly or you can say the same y of t we can obtain by using this formula so in both the cases we will be getting a same answer so now as far as the formula goes how we are going to achieve this so here are the steps step number 1 since we need a t in the limits hence this in original input and impulse response will replace this t by some other variable named as tau then out of two signals any one signal you have to do a time reverse
in order to get x of minus tau or h of minus tau. Third step, the signal which you have reversed, that signal need to be shifted. So this shifting can occur in two ways and this to be shifted by amount t. So this shifting we can have like this. For t less than 0 that means negative and negative means it is a delay. and b part is for t greater than 0 means it is advance so what we will get we will get the sequence which is reverse time reverse which will have the effect of t either a minus t or a plus t that depends upon whether you are delay or advance but whenever we are shifting we have to consider both delay as well as advance and in the last step we have to solve this integral for various values of shift and that is nothing but t because to get this integral especially these limits these limits are obtained by the area which is common between x of tau and h of t minus tau So then this will give you a certain value of y for decided shift of t and such a shift you have to accumulate in the end and then you have to plot y of t. So this is a procedure we need to follow to solve a problem based on continuous time convolution. Thank you.